There's certainly boards that could beat it. I mean, Mono Wood could maybe beat it. Mono Wood playing a whole bunch of uh, Blasts could probably beat it. You really hate that world as much as we come better. I could have not rolled the. I could have not rolled the uh, shifting stars, but yeah. I never saw the Soul movies. No, sorry, I read that as did you ever saw the movies? <laughs> never been my thing. That's an upgrade, very nice. And I'll lean into this. Wind tax? No. Thunderfeeler looks like not really a Thunderfeeler game. The Delta on World Smash Power level is so good. What do you mean by that? Or so big, even. The ceiling is high, sure. Yeah, it is kind of miserable to play it. I do I do hate playing World Smash and not drawing World Smash. There's that Wu Jingzhi we eliminated in the last game who was still on level 2 waves when we were on tier 5. It's pretty fun. I don't really, uh... I, don't know, I used to like World Smash quite a lot, and then I played a bunch of it with Ling Yuan on Overcome. That kind of killed the enthusiasm for it a little bit. Good job, random defense on Dotted Around. I always believed in you. That does make me want to roll a little bit. Kicking this incessant to try to hit one of these three, I guess so. It is a rough whiff. I'm just gonna stay on this tier for a turn or two. I hate I hate it, but This is better than a blank two defense versus two attack? I guess not. Uh, dotted around is better there. Yeah, I get that. I find it pretty frustrating to play. Playing it on Wu Jingzhi in particular because you're going second a lot of the time feels kind of rough. There, again, if you're queuing up into a bunch of dimes here, it makes a little bit more sense there. These are all not cards I want. I could lock a former side. Take her tier 4. I don't hate it. I don't end. This stars is now a card I will take begrudgingly. Man, I cannot hit these upgrades. You have high hopes for hard for Star Trail? That's good, someone has to. This is a star point normal. Kind of committed to playing this board. Yeah, I know they take a bunch of Epiphany and Thunder Tribs, but like other characters could take Epiphanies and Thunder Tribs too, right? Not like Chinray, I guess, but. It's pretty rough if you are a character that's slow and you can't take those, though. My experience has mostly been going second to them, but I don't really play the characters that are particularly fast that often. Those characters have their own issues. I 
Dust dotted spire spire shifting flank. Uh, maybe. Upgrade all meditation cards. That one. That button is the one I'm gonna press. Um, that kind of makes this apex better because now I have a sparrow's tail as well. Let's roll a couple more cards. Right, I just got a max apex for some reason. Don't need another dotted. Supposed to break through, but I did it too slowly. Whoops. Sparrow, Sparrow, why wind? Just Chi. But I'm sure there was a better board I could have been running that I just didn't find in time. I should have just been playing the Shifting Stars instead. Yeah, I should have just been playing the Shifting Stars. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought I needed more Chi. Uh, it's all good. I just messed up my turn. Don't worry. <laughs> don't don't worry about it too much. I was still trying to figure out how, like what I wanted to kick to break through because I knew I wanted the flame flutter. It's all right. We'll, we'll get there. Don't worry. You can do anything thanks to the fire. Appreciate it. Well, flank is less good than... Uh, I guess it's fine. It's just a little slower. Well, I think it's usually better to hexagram first, but I had divination, right? So, that's what I will. Moot point. Okay, so I have an Earth Hex that is maxed now, which is certainly a good place to be. I should go Sparrow's Tail here instead of the Wind Hex. My bad. Is it, is it actually good? It's usually pretty good. I mean, it looks a little bad here because our cards do so much damage, but like we killed here, right? So it dealt like 18 damage. It's pretty good. I don't really have Hex. Yeah, that's true. Ugh. Having all my cards upgraded at once completely threw me. <laughs> we'll play a turn correctly eventually. This is seven less damage up front. Seven less damage up front. I just don't think my board is getting past this is all. I don't really think the second flank does very much. Also, I got here. Five cultivation at the beginning of the round. Okay, so we have more life to spend in the shop. Maybe one hexagram. Sure. All right. I'm, I think I've now. This is the first turn. I think I have registered what the cards on my board actually do. World Smash. Pretty close. His board was a lot worse last turn. Where did these cards come from? <laughs> these weren't on his board last turn. <laughs> I'm sure someone will be quick to point out that yes, they were. Streamer know anything? I'm not even taking the breakthrough here. 
Oh, sorry, I'm probably not even playing the former side here. I don't need rotary. This recuperates a little tempting. Or the astral equips for the mid game carry. Under and lightning, huh? Jesus. That was a good draw. Confusing draw, but good draw. Diamond should be here. Well, we are going to go former side. It's just that former side is usually not great right now. And given how much more destiny I need to spend at the shop, I figure just getting to tier 5 is going to be good. Like, I was looking at recuperate, but I think um, two extra internal injury is better than recuperate in terms of how much destiny it's going to give us. That's not a card I really need. Because we're breaking through, like, turn 10, more or less. I guess it's a little hard to do that. Most of my cards are pretty capable. In terms of making this Starry Moon work, how, how can we do this? So... That works out better. It's still two star power, but now we have two... things. Flame Hex is better on my current board. Alright. Fair enough. Just too chi there. So it is. So no star power here, but then these both get star power and star points. It's too chi. Uses all three hexagrams. But it doesn't get one. It's four defense. Uh, two defense. I guess probably the dotted around's better. I could kick the dotted around. That guy has a lot of physique. And an exercise marrow to go with it. Very good. Waste time playing ineffective cards, lose fights. Oops. Chi therapy. Cute, but probably not what I'm looking for. Five card breakthrough. Strange pickup. I'm pretty sure this is better than that slot than plus. Oh, that's not quite true. This gets the star power bonus too. better than this. Board's a bit of a pile. Board's a little bit of a pile. Let's fix it next turn. Kind of trying to thread this, uh, this line of having a good board this turn and keeping all my sick cards, which is a pretty risky line when, uh, your opponent also has good cards, but probably fine. Look at me expertly dodge his defense.
So the Flame Flutter we're looking to get rid of. Side is a good card. I mean, Evil Upgrade's also a good card. Imposing Lesser. Here we are again. Hmm. What are we doing here? Blank roll. And then hexes now here. This is already active. I wonder if side is just better than hit. Probably. Well, maybe. Why is Formicide here? Anyone know? I'm spoiled for choice. There's something else in the shop, right? A Divine Walk failure? This uh, former side looks pretty bad, to be honest. Should probably not be here. Rude. Okay. Luckily our card quality is so high that not a lot matters right now. Soon things will matter though. I said this isn't really doing anything, and I think that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not much of a board. So I could just swap to like a star power board playing prop omen. Missing. Yeah. I make three chi, not four. It's a good point. Does help that. Yeah, I think just prop into his battle. A bit slower. Hey, Lead Hog, how you doing? Uh, 26, slightly better. I'm trying to not buy the... It's 2 regen, 4 internal injury for those counting at home. I'm trying to not buy the, uh, Divine Walk Fulu until I have to, but let's see. We lose this to like the random fucking regen herb. Love that. <laughs> Love losing to regen herb. Divine so walk freely and an upgrade to former side. So strike twice. Still need to find a five thunders though. Do I? One, two. Little curb.
I love plant moss. Everyone loves plant moss, though. Skipex line. Skipex doesn't do anything. I don't have a strike twice. Every line seems terrible. Just drop it. Well, the problem then is I don't have enough cards on my board. <laughs> like this doesn't do it. This doesn't do enough. Who the main shop? Who cares? <laughs> like I know this runs out of chi, but. I don't, I don't see, I don't see how this actually helps me win. Like, the Thousand Evils is nice, but I don't think I've got the damage, like, with anything. I will end up charging here, it's true. But I don't think it matters. I don't know, maybe I'm underestimating how much damage this board does. But it seems like I just don't have a board. Either way. Like, I'm just gonna get world smashed again. Well, okay. Turns out I've got a board. And the Divine Walk Fury wasn't even necessary. Alright. Save Destiny by not buying it in the shop. Look at me go. I'm really struggling here. <laughs> uh, I, don't know, I don't really want to upgrade this. Yeah, level 3 Thunder and Lightning when you don't low roll is pretty good. So, there's a healer board, which kind of makes me want to play all my scaling, which does seem somewhat suicidal. But that gives me chi and hexagrams. And not much else, it's kind of wasted. Three G per cycle, so I can play like a random side. Mine's the side. The side deals about twenty-two. It's a little bit less than this, right? Stop outline does feel like it scales better. I mean, we could just play prop. Everything is kind of missing pieces. I don't really feel like I've got a good way to catch up to her. This makes one, two, three chi. Spends one, two, three chi. I could kick cards, but that seems bad too. I could run a Starry Moon. The problem is I have one Dragonfly, no Strike Twice, and no Flies, and no Tigers. So even though I have Alaris, can't swap Thunder and Lightning, I don't... Uh, I could actually, yeah, 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 that would be better. My bad, my bad. I forgot I have two Chi from the prop omen. I'm not used to the prop omen art, <laughs> to be honest. It doesn't even really register what card it is. But yes, that would be better. Her board's kind of bad. We might just be okay because her board is kind of bad. Okay. Her board is a little bit worse than ours. Good job, internal injury. I don't need more Divine Orc feelers. Don't need a Great Spirit either. Okay, well sure, what we'll divine walk through this, love it. As soon as I find my Dharma, my board is gonna pop off. Tiger, it's a chord in tune. What is your apparition confusion? The simple joy of having a million cards and not being able to play any of them.
Well, it looks bad, but also, like, we can't beat it. I can combine one of these. I mean, I could probably combine all of them, and I can kick Flame Hex, probably. Can I actually go first? Can I put this here? Alright, Apparition Confusion. I don't know if I can afford to care about Apparition Confusion. Doesn't that card just kind of murder me, no matter what, if I don't kill her here? I love to have seven cards in my hand and not be able to kick any of them. I could maybe kick Starry Moon. This is not the bracelet board that we dreamed of. Just play a million sides. I can think of a few things. I'm just gonna accept going second here. At least I saved eight Destiny by not buying a Divine Walk Fulu. I'm pretty much making the decision to lose this fight. Because I'm not really confident I can win it anyway. And this way at least I have outs to make a board at some point. What card could that possibly be? Why? <laughs> That's a good guard up. Okay. Well, I made the decision to lose that fight, and I still won it, so scoreboard. Yes, side. Side and Soul Calibur Requiem Fulu. These are what I needed. <laughs> where, do I, where do I get my Dharma? Where, where, can I, where can I collect my Dharma? One, two, three, four, so we side on five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. No, we sat on four. What am I talking about? One, two, three, four. Life drop option to swap sets. I've actually drawn a, a fly here. Which is kind of annoying. It makes my star power board better. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tiger is good. Side is bad after this fight. I actually don't need a max Divine Walk Fulu, funnily enough. It's just extremely unnecessary. Kinda close to a star power. Why did I keep that Starry Moon? Because I have a Divine Walk Fulu. If I could draw a... Uh... If I could draw a copy of Evan Hex, I could just cut all my hexagrams. Well, <laughs> I don't even know if I win from here. <laughs> Side is a good card, chat. <laughs> Say it with me. Oh my god, a strike twice. <laughs> All right, what's this jerk doing? <laughs> uh, I could double side on two. Yeah, that's true. I can double side with Heaven Hex, but I don't need to. Yes, I'd also casually kills him. I think this is the board I'm playing. 
last round, just kick all the star power bullshit. Kick all the star power shit. Yeah, fuck the star power shit, man. Just make sure we go first. I mean, I should be miles faster than him. I should have this card were upgraded. Get him. Get him. <laughs> uh. Oh, you know, that combined world is actually pretty good. He might still kill me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> world smash, too good. Oh, five thunders. That helps a lot. And an upgrade to the former side. Also helps a lot. Probably just to kill him on four angle then, right? Two, three, four. Two, three, four. He's killing me on four. Does this actually kill him? Or are my cards too unupgraded for that? This does 20, 60. Strike twice thousand evils. I don't think so. The thunders, I don't think matters, honestly. Eight times five is 40. So it is more than this. Right. This is 32. No. Yeah, yeah, this is 40. Seven hexagrams. You sure this is it? Could be wrong. Not sure. If he finds two copies of World Smash, I could be in trouble. This is not enough damage. <laughs> this is not enough damage. <laughs> we need to find upgrades to these cards. Like, any upgrade to either of them would kill. I think Strike Twice Thousand Evils goes a pretty long way. So this is the board you're running? Two, three, four, five. Does this go a long way? I'm a little skeptical. Does this do more damage? Like, does this actually kill him though? One, two, three, four. This is a maxed combined worlds I have to chunk through. Max combined worlds is kinda hard to chunk through. Regrettably these cards being level one is holding me back pretty badly. I just don't have the right amount of damage. There's probably a line in here that works. No, Strike Twice Thousand Evils feels unlikely to get there, but we'll see. I mean it does reduce the force of order if we take by a lot. Ooh. 
Maybe it's good. Okay. Is he dead? Thank God. Oof. What a struggle. <laughs> what an absolute struggle. We had all the tech, but no damage. Well, no damage isn't quite right. That, uh... That Astral Eclipse pick up on tier 4 went a pretty long way.